What's up guys? So today uh finished my shift and I will be changing the cable. Now I'm going to uncoil this so we can get rid of the old one. Now you want to make sure that the tip is cut nice. All right, you don't want it to be flared out because you want it to go in the uh, drum nice and smooth. And I'll just make sure I didn't screw this up. I already took out the other one all the way. Now I just gotta take out the Allen screw. Uh, don't know what size this one is. I don't see it on here. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure when you're changing the cable that uh, you remember how it came out. So this drum unroll, it rolls up this way. So it pulls this way as it spools in. And that's the way you gotta go, okay? Um, so as I change, you'll see it's gotta go through the rollers, all right, in between the two rollers. Oh, this one has one roller. So it's gonna go under the roller, come through the drum, and back in this way. And that's the way you have to put it back. Now this screw, you don't have to necessarily take it all the way out. I just take it out because I don't want it to go off a bit full and drop and then have an issue. Now when you're doing this, you're gonna wanna be careful because this does have uh, you know, like a memory in it and it's coiled and you don't want it to come back and hit you. All right, so that came out nice and easy. And now you're gonna go through the roller here underneath and line it up with the hole. All right, so you know what? You could always put a piece of tape on the end of it to keep it from splintering up. Should have put tape on it. I don't have tape on me. Up this way. What's up, Rashawn? I'm recording. How are you?
There you go. All right, so like I said, I would recommend putting tape on the end of it just to uh, prevent hitting it and then spreading out. All right. And then you can put this back on. If you do take it all the way out, I suggest going to the left a little bit, make sure it's lined up. You don't want to force it if it's not going in straight. You don't want to cross thread it. So that takes care of that. And now, pull it back so that you can start working it back in. Now, I have a remote control. A lot of people don't have a remote control. So if you don't have a remote control and you want to re-spool it by yourself, there's a couple of ways of doing that, okay? So you could either use a block of wood or you could use a rubber wheel chalk and a strap. Alright, so we'll grab a strap. Alright, so like I said, there's many ways of doing it. Um, I see a lot of guys do it different ways. So basically you would put a uh, rubber wheel chalk here. Um, but if you want, you can go further back. Alright, so let's see. Uh, We'll use like back here. All right. Put the rubber wheel chalk like this and put a strap over it. Okay. Again, I have a remote. this way like this so like I said some guys you know there's videos online um, some guys use you know raw a rubber wheel chalk some use a block of wood um, the rubber wheel chalk um, is good because it's rubber so it's not gonna like crush the cable All right, so now that that's set, all right, you're gonna remember that the, it's gonna go this way the drum. All right, so now you have that there, you have this here, um, but I like to you know, move the cable over a little bit. And keep it tight. As you can see, that's holding. And it'll spool up nice and easy. And then just make sure that the cable is free to go, not in a big mess or not, you don't want that. Just keep an eye on the cable. And there goes the rubber. See, I don't use that, so I don't know. i just seen a lot of guys use it. Um, they use a rubber wheel chalk. This one actually has like a channel in it, so you could just do it like that. Um, again, I don't, I don't normally use that. I just use my remote, or after the first three wraps, I put a car onto it and do it that way. All right, so you see this wheel chalk has like a, kind of like a channel underneath it, so it'll keep it nice and tight, but it won't crush the cable. 
and it'll spool up. And then always just, again, make sure your cable's good and smooth. Uh, not smooth, but that it's not gonna knot up on you. Another way to do it is run the cable out, put a snatch block here, and then run the cable to yourself over here by the control. So you can keep pressure on it with the snatch block. The snatch block will just basically turn the cable towards you. And then you can do the same concept like this, and then just keep feeding the cable in while you're holding pressure. <clears throat> so I'm gonna fix that, cause that I don't like. Anyway, tomorrow when I load my first vehicle, I'll take it out and do it with the with the vehicle. So again, you could use the wheel chalk. This one's cool because it has a channel going through it. So it doesn't put too much pressure on the cable to crush it. Okay. Uh, or some guys use a block of wood. It all depends. You know, there's many ways of doing it when you're by yourself. All right, that's it. So that's that. This is the new hook. All right, this one's the BA products. 3.8 core, uh, what is this? 3.8 fiber core, um, 3,780 pound working low limit. And then, not sure the length, but this might be a 50 footer. Or 56, I don't know. It says 56 on it, so I know the last time I checked online, uh, it was showing something about over 50. The other one said 55. So shut the remote, put that away, put everything else away. And that's pretty much it. So, what I plan on doing, the old cable's going in the garbage, but I plan on seeing if I, I'm gonna cut this, this hook off. So I'm gonna cut this, take the hook, because the hook is what I want. My only issue is I need to figure out how to get this hook onto this. So I'd like to get rid of this hook and see if they have a really good, strong enough, uh, like connector where I can put this hook on here um, because this hook I prefer where it doesn't get stuck on bumpers and stuff like that versus this sometimes when you're pulling up this lip this goes up and then the hook will get a bumper and then do this you know and then sometimes they get stuck in there and then you got to fight it I, I really hate these hooks 
Um, but I got a new cable, so I'm not gonna complain about that. But I'm definitely gonna cut this off and see if there's any really good connection that I could put on this, like some type of clamp. And I'll cut this off and I'll put this on there. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But anyway, so that's pretty much um, how easy it is to change the winch cable. Again, if you have a person that could help you, one person could hold the cable and keep tension on it while you're pulling it in, um, you're spooling up your winch. And if not, if you buy yourself, then get a block of wood or a rubber chalk and uh, put the chalk on the cable, strap it like that. Or again, you can use a snatch block, run the cable down, snatch block to you here, and then just use the controls and hold tension with your one arm while you're controlling it and keep feeding it until it gets to the end and then take the snatch block out and everything else and so on. All right, so as always guys, thank you for watching. And uh, you know, if you felt that the video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And please smash that notification bell and you'll get notified every time I upload a video.